This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Sunday, January 22nd, 2012. The following forecast will identify the areas and days of highest potential fallout based on various meteorological resources for Canada, the US, and Europe. In Canada, current radar from the Weather Office of Environment Canada shows heavy rainfall for most of the reporting stations in southern BC, the southern half of Ontario, in the southern province of Quebec. The jet stream will be overlying these areas as well starting Monday evening. In the U.S., heavy precipitation is occurring in southern Alaska and scattered precipitation is occurring in Hawaii. However, neither of these areas have an overlying jet stream at the moment and won't until at least Thursday. In the U.S., scattered rain and snow are currently on the entire west coast with snow occurring inland from Reno northward. California Regional Weather Server shows the jet stream currently over Southern California with a wide swing upward through New England. This pattern will head north and cover the entire West Coast and East Coast starting Monday night as well as the Northern States. Heavy rain is forecasted for the entire Midwest today and tomorrow moving into New England on Tuesday as well as strong storms that are currently occurring in the southern states. Luckily, they will not have a lot of jet stream involvement for the rest of this week. The Midwest, the East Coast, and the West Coast, however, should be aware, especially starting Tuesday morning. In Europe, a strong system is currently exiting Eastern Europe, with light scattered precipitation currently over the UK, Northern France, and Germany. However, another strong system will be hitting Ireland and the UK in approximately 24 hours. There is high potential for fallout due to the water vapor bands associated with this system. Please be careful going outdoors, not only in precipitation, but in strong heavy winds. Visit FukushimaFacts.com for up to the minute news and info on the radiation, mitigation, and links to various online resources for fallout monitoring in the U.S. and Europe. A full updated mitigation list will be posted there tomorrow. Resources used for today's forecast, in addition to those mentioned, were in Telecast, NOAA, and Meteo France. This forecast has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Please share this concern for others as well. Stay safe.